For longer than humans walked the earth, the shining beacon of the Himalayas, Mount Everest, stood as the highest summit on the planet. It was the creme de la creme, the place so uninhabitable by life, so unrelenting and unpredictable, that only the bravest souls ever dared to ascend to the altitude of gods. However, several years ago, that changed. Entrepreneur and engineer Elon Musk was attempting to create a hyperloop station in the center of the mountain. He claimed he could create a train that could take you from Everest to San Diego in 11 minutes. No one actually believed him, of course, and five months into the building operation, signs of imminent catastrophe arose as the structural integrity of the mountain began to give way. On the 4th of December, 2018, Everest, the mountain that had claimed the title of the highest and most treacherous peak for millions of years, collapsed into a pile of rubble and debris of what would be left of the Himalayas. That was only the beginning of the crisis in Nepal. Thousands of hard-working Sherpas were suddenly unemployed. Searching for an answer, the Nepali government created a program that sent Sherpas abroad to other mountain ranges to continue their work. In light of a progressive attitude, the Sherpas were given a new name, Marcos. Unfortunately, their bad luck would return. Apparently, Elon Musk had been building hyperloop systems inside almost every major mountain in the world. And one by one, over the course of three years, they all fell. K2, Aconagua, Denali, Kilimanjaro, Elbrus, Vincent, the list goes on and on. All fell until the highest peak that remained was one located in central Colorado, an area Musk had no interest in expanding the Hyperloop to. The title of the highest peak in the world now fell to Mount Elbert. While many have attempted the climb after the mountain gained its new notoriety, only a few have succeeded. Near the summit, wind gusts have been recorded exceeding 800 miles an hour. Temperatures can dip into the negative 70s, and avalanches are an hourly occurrence. Many have failed before us, but that is the past. Now, it's our turn.